All right, chapter three, operators. So pretty straightforward. By default, um, whenever strings are compared, they are gonna be case insensitive. That means that if it's uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't really matter as long as the word matches. If you wanna specify sensitivity and you say, I want it to be case sensitive, then you gotta do this. You gotta put a C, right? C, C, C. By default, it's I, so you never have to include it. This is pretty straightforward. If you know, you know math, uh, pretty straightforward. The, this means that uh, like you have to include wildcards, okay? So make sure to have a wildcard. A star is a wildcard, okay? So you have to include this, you have to include this, and then that means that anything before is okay, all right? So just to show you, I can type in anything I want and it still comes true, okay? True, right? It's a Boolean result. So remember, you type anything you want, it's false. But if I put string, it's true, okay? If I put something, if I delete this and I say I want anything in the back, it's false because my is in the back. I have to put my in the front in the back now. It was in the front, I gotta put it in the back, okay? All right, my string not like other. So it's just basically the reverse. There will be situations where you say, I don't want I don't want it to match that. So not like this, so just go the other way. Match is going to be something you can use and you can leverage regular expression. Um, if you want kind of um, something like this around regular expression, I could do something on the side. But regular expression is going to be something that also I suggest you learn because it is so helpful to parse text out of things leveraging regular expression. Okay. Cool. Um, contains, not contains. So if... Uh, it just basically says it returns true when the value on the right is present in the array on the left. So when this is present in this, it's true, right? When uh, blah, false. If I add it here, blah, true, right? Got it? All right not contains means that it doesn't contain it. So again, situations where you might want to use it or not. When it is in, you're going the other way if something is in. There are going to be situations where you want to check if a value is in a bucket or not in a bucket, right? So again, these are arrays. You can even write it like this where... Mm, poodle is in, and we'll make an array, right? We, we're making an array. Uh, mm, chihuahua, is that how you spell chihuahua? Uh, German Shepherd, Husky, I don't know. False. The moment I put poodle in there, true. Right? Got it? All right.